Welcome back. You're still watching Morning Live. Now, Port of Doom film, uh, filmmaker uh, Dion Van Sale has put Northwest filmmaking in the international arena after winning the highly coveted Hollywood International Independent Documentary Awards in Los Angeles. Van Sale's documentary, My Life on the Tracks, the Rohan Voss story, focuses on Rohan Voss and his Rohan Voss rail. It is hailed the most luxurious uh, train in the world and travels to some of the most exotic destinations in Africa. The documentary competed against over 100 other entrants from around the world of film. Sinting Lee compiled this report. From a small town boy from rural Delereville to being the owner of one of the most glamorous passenger trains on the globe. So I used to love it um, going out into the fields there and, and especially into the farmlands which abutted uh, the town. So I think, I think within 100 meters from leaving my home, uh, we were in, in the Kui Kamp, as they used to call it, uh, where the, everybody in town had their own cow. My Life on the Tracks, the Ruan Force story, tells the story of Ruan Force, who established the family-owned Rovers Rail, which started operating out of Capitol Park Station in Pretoria in 1989. We started off on 29th of April uh, 1989, and uh, we had, um, I think, four paying passengers on the first trip. And, um, but uh, we had drunks and friends, uh, you know, along to, to keep the quorum up. And um, I thought, wow, we've got a great thing going here. Well, it just didn't happen. This story shares more than just the rich history of African rail. It tells about Dion Van Sale's long-awaited journey into the film industry. I was really honoured um, to come away from the Hollywood International Independent Documentary Awards um, as a winner. Um, you know, for me, uh, we as filmmakers are storytellers. So for me to find an audience for my documentary um, that had its roots in Delareville in the northwest prom uh, province, um, you know, to find an audience for, for my story in Hollywood, um, I feel really honoured. In this film, Dion allows Force to tell his remarkable story in his own words as the owner and founder of the largest privately owned railway in Africa, with routes from South Africa to Namibia and Tanzania. As things progressed, um, I decided to build a four-carriage train for my family. And um, again, I thought it might be fun to have my own locomotive. Applied to the railways for that permission, and they came back and said, well, look, you know, it's all very well that you go gadding around the country on your own, but, um, uh, you know, it's never been done before. But uh, we will allow it, however, um, it's going to cost you X, Y and Z, you know, per kilometre and per station stop and for water and inspections and all the other things that go with running a train. And uh, I complained bitterly about the rate because it was horrific. And um, they said, well, why don't you sell tickets? And that was the turning point. This proved to be a great task for a professional engineer who had been newly retrenched but also hungry for greener pastures. He says after losing his job last year, he knew exactly what he wanted to do, which was follow his passion to make films and tell the Ruan Four story. Back in 2007, um, I had the privilege of travelling on Ravos Rail and um, I was totally oblivious to the story behind the train. And um, on my arrival in Cape Town, on the train's arrival in Cape Town, um, I met Rowan Voss very briefly on the platform. And that's where, that's the moment that curiosity set in, and I wanted to know more. With the South African flag now flying high, it is hoped that it will give local aspiring filmmakers the encouragement to do wonders in the film industry. The Northwest Film Commission says this will go a long way in promoting filmmaking in the province. Northwest, uh, in terms of filming, has been shut out. No films have taken place uh, for with the economic impact that we are looking at. As, as a commission, we are also looking at it as uh, encouragement to other filmmakers that a film from Telareville and done in the Northwest by a Northwest person can compete at uh, international level. 
So we are very great and uh, it will also open doors for us uh, nationally here in South Africa whereby uh, Cape Town, Joburg and Deben were the only places where films could be made, uh, let alone compete internationally. For Dion Van Sale, his film award is a clear reflection of the abundance of local talent. So I think we have a lot of talent in South Africa generally um, and also in the Northwest province and it will be such a shame to see that guys just give up um, because they don't have the support. So I think this is the start of many exciting things coming. Van Sale will receive his award at a screening to be held in September 10th at the Rally Studios in Hollywood. Sintle English, SABC News, Pochefstrom.